Hi, my name is Scott. For the subject of this project of who is my muse, who inspires me, I chose Alan John Miller, who goes by AJ. He claims to have began his life 2,000 years ago in the Roman province of Judea, which is now known as Israel. He explains that he and 13 others, seven soul pairs, who had reached the state of soul union chose to return and correct the distortions of what he had taught 2,000 years ago. I found him by way of the YouTube al algorithm. Uh, back in March of 2012, uh, it suggested that I would like his video titled Secrets of the Universe. I have attended three of his events. The last time was for a 10 day long assistance group held near Austin, Texas in the fall of 2013. This is a video clip of the uh, vice journalist Julian Morgans um, talking to AJ about if he misses his life before he became convinced that he was Jesus. Do you ever do you ever miss your old life? <laughs> Not at all, actually. Um, now, no. In fact, I quite often say to Mary that our life is beautiful. It's like we get to do what we're passionate about every single day of our life. Mm. And, and so no day, we work very hard, but our, uh, it doesn't feel like work, you know, like it, it doesn't. Uh, and we do a lot of work environmentally. We're running two companies or assisting in the running of two companies. We're... We're involved with people's lives, you know, a lot, and we do seminars and we do presentations. We travel around the world doing that, and but it all we create all and we create all this material. Uh, we do on the average. Uh, this year is a bit different, but in the normal year, we record anywhere from 150 to 400 hours of material every year that we produce. And and as you know, the work behind the scenes doing that far exceeds the work in front of the camera. Yeah, and and. Um, you know, we, we, all that, and it all just feels to us like this is idyllic, yeah. idyllic life. And on top of that, amazingly, even though people don't really accept believe, necessarily or believe who we are. And they're often challenged and confronted. Because they our... love what we're doing, they still donate to us enough money so we can live and also do the, get the technology and pay the expenses yeah. to do it. Yeah. Like, how amazing is that? And mm -hmm. before, when I was working as a computer systems programmer and analyst and systems engineer, I worked like a good 100 hours a week every week. It, 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 it's such an, um, well, it's a, it's a beautiful life and it gets more beautiful the more Mary and I deal with emotions mm -hmm. that we're still working on in order to get rid of fears that we have and other issues that we have and even stuff that we still have between each other. And the more that happens, the more beautiful it gets. Yeah. It's just so, yeah, I, I like, I feel really blessed mm -hmm. in a lot of ways now. But if you had told me that I would feel blessed in 15 years' time, mm -hmm. 15 years ago, I would have told you you're an idiot. Considering what I felt at the time I would have to go through. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the influence. Uh, before I met AJ, I did not take life very seriously. I was convinced that I was an old soul who had lived a dozen or more lives and had come back to Earth one last time. His explanations overcame all of my objections, but I got angry and I became less creative. It has taken me about 10 years to heal the traumas that drove that anger. I then valued honesty enough to end the lucrative business I had created that required me to keep secrets. It seems like I have been more creative in the last year than the sum total of all the years that came before. I have begun to understand the relationship between creativity passion and being authentic that Kaufman and Gregoire write about in 10 Habits of Highly Creative People. If we are not creating from our authentic selves, 
we are merely a vehicle for other people's creativity. Following some type of formula to create popular art or using AI to create artwork we claim as our own can temporarily satisfy our egos, but it will never satisfy our souls. As Danny pointed out in our review of IBM and creativity, AI has a big negative in that it takes away from the practice of basic skills that lead to mastery. Of the four, I see Pro-C as the most likely to lack a high level of authentic creativity due to the survival fear built into the economic system we live within. As Gabor Mate points out, when authenticity threatens attachment, attachment trumps authenticity. Is it any wonder that so few of us achieve big C creativity? Charles Eisenstein has followed the model of teaching that I so admire in A.J. Miller. He offers his online course on how each of us can help create the more beautiful world our hearts know is possible by seeing creativity through the lens of gift. A.J. Miller teaches that we can only become fearless by developing a constant connection with our divine parent. Fear prevents us from being completely authentic, and without that, our creativity will always fall short of perfection.